G'day, welcome to the channel. Thanks for tuning in. If it is your first time, give us a thumbs up, drop a comment in below, um, be part of the conversation. It all helps the channel. It helps us bring you things like this, the Mosky 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 audio, classic F dash D. Classic F dash D. What could that mean? They've even gone as far as uh, the the Fender F logo. So copyright strike there for most guy. But this is also a, a clone, a take uh, of what was the Sans amp, uh, you know, one of the earliest amp emulators from Tech Twenty One, New York based company. Um, this is a, a, a Fender Fender circuit in a box. Um, you can plug straight in uh, to a PA or, as I am here, straight into the door. Um, it's just direct straight in. Um, Fender Strat, no effect, straight in. I've got the level pumped up a little bit on this because there's lots you can do with this to get um, an emulation of some classic Fender amp sounds from, from twins to tweeds um, and, and hot rod versions as well. I've just dialed in something that I, I, I've used on the Joyo pedal with the Joyo American, which is the same circuit, same deal. When you punch in um, to the with the guitar, you get some break up, and that's where I like to be. And when you back off your attack, it's a little bit sparkly. All right, knobs across the top are EQ levels, so low, mids, and highs. You've got level and gain on the bottom row, left and right. In the middle, the one that gives you most variance on this pedal is, is the voice. Now, whether you want this voice like um, a, a, a cleaner Fender, like a, a twin, You've got very, very clean there. Bump the bottom end a bit. Very, very clean. Now, the more you rotate the voice knob, there's an extreme variance. It's got a real impact on the gain that you get with this pedal. And you more they turn clockwise, the more gain you get, but you've got a separate gain knob there as well. Very interactive. With the gain as well. Now you can get into um, quite overdriven sounds with this pedal as well. I mean that's a that's a tweet on steroid. The EQ controls are active and they've got an incredible amount of gain in them. If I bring up the uh, the mids And you can hear that frequency start to take off. I had to back off the gain because I started to peak the input channel. That's how much gain you get. And that's still peaking. Um, and sorry, every time I pass my hand over this pedal, it blots, blots out the pedal. It is a small, standard, compact size pedal. So the, the Joyo in, in comparison, which is the same circuit, is slightly larger. Slightly larger. There it is in comparison. There we go. It blots out the sun, doesn't it? Um, similar type of deal. So if you're using the Joyo American on your board, here's an option to save some real estate. I'll bring these um, EQs back. I like a little bit of tops in there. Then we can boost that level back up. 
still sounding a little bit woolly to me. And like a lot of, well, like some Fender uh, amps, some some of the tweeds, um, they go into sort of flabby, flubby. Sort of flabby bottom end area. Back off the, um, the bass. I, I defy anyone um, not to be able to get a usable sound out of this for running direct into a PA. Stack all of your pedals before it and rack this on the end of your pedal board straight into the PA. And you've got an ampless rig. Back there, it gives you a little bit of spark. I dig it. I'm not going to go argue about the, the ethics of cloning circuits or uh, imitating other designs, but Mosky, Mosky, Mosky um, audio, this is probably the third in the this particular circuit that I've tried, the other being the, the horse um, series, which also had the AC tone and uh, and the Marshall uh, variant as well. I'm sure Mosky, Mosky, uh, Mosky Audio do the same. They've got a range of the uh, variants on amp in a box pedals. Let us let us know what uh, what you think if you've got one. Um, thanks for tuning in. Drop us drop us a line in. <laughs>